Hello, and welcome to the third video tutorial on the Washington DNR Interactive Geologic Portal. In this video, we will conduct a how-to covering several frequently asked questions. First, we will open the portal at dnr.wa.gov slash geologyportal and open the geologic map theme. Some people have indicated they cannot get the portal to load. If this is an issue, you may be using an OS device which does not support Flash. Another solution would be to clear your browser's cache data. The tutorial will not address this process, though a Google search for clearing Browser X cache data should get you on the right track. One of the most commonly asked questions is, how do I get the data relating to a layer of interest? To do this, simply click the downward facing green arrow in the legend this will start a download process, which may take several minutes, and it will provide you with a zip file of the relevant data. Other questions include the scale bar. How come the scale is at odd increments, and can I set it to a certain scale? With that, you will note that as I zoom in, the scale changes from 36K to 18K, skipping the conventional 24K. The simple answer is no. Due to the way that the base map is cached, the scale is predetermined, and at this moment, the scale cannot be defined by the user. Adjusting layer transparency is as easy as locating the layer of interest in the legend, here I will choose surface geology, and moving the slider bar either to the right or to the left. Layers that are grayed out are temporarily deactivated due to the current view being at an incorrect scale for viewing. Layers without a check mark in the adjacent box are turned off. Click the box to turn them on again. Something people have wondered is how to find the coordinates of a location of interest on the map. To do this, click the Draw and Measure tool, select Point, and place a point on a location of interest. This will bring up a box with the coordinates listed in several different formats. Now. Let's switch to the subsurface theme to discuss the Query tool. You can use the Query tool to find and populate a list of items with similar properties. Here I will query subsurface points, and we will be looking for borings less than 100 feet. Add your selection to the query, and execute the query. This may take several minutes to load, depending on the number of records the query has to search and return. Now you can see a populated list of the borings which match the query, and the points have been highlighted on the map. Finally, we will address the confusion between themes and base maps. By changing the base map, you can change the underlying image of the portal. Thus, you could switch from aerial imagery to topographic maps, and so on. Changing the theme will change the data shown on the portal to reflect that theme's focus. Thank you for viewing this video tutorial on frequently asked questions on the Washington DNR Geologic Portal.